What's up guys? So here we are today. We're in the backyard and we're going to make some French toast pull aparts. These are going to be totally cool and super simple. So I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how I do it. Show you it's great for when you have guests over or you have a big family you're going to feed everybody. Go ahead and give them the French toast pull aparts. They're super fun and super easy. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start. I got four eggs. Okay. So we're just going to get our eggs right into our bowl here. Okay. Eggs go right into the bowl. Get all three of them in there. All right. Okay, so that's it, four eggs. I have an eighth of a cup of half and half. You can use milk, you can use heavy cream. I happen to have some half and half. So we're gonna add that in. I have a tablespoon of vanilla extract. That one goes in. And this, I'm just gonna give a couple sprinkles of that cinnamon. I like a lot in mine. I'm gonna get a little extra in there. And we're gonna go ahead and just whisk it up. All right. And this is what it looks like, all nice and incorporated. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna cut up our Texas toast. I've got six slices of Texas toast, including two heels, but they're very skinny, but I like to throw them in. This is a good utilization for, uh, for using these little pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it twice, both ways. So once this way, just like that, and it might fall down. We're gonna do it once more. Watch just like this. Okay, but we're gonna bring this back up. Bring it back up. We're gonna spin it. And we're gonna do it one more time. Two more cuts, one, two. That's one. And we'll get this one all the way through. And that's two. We'll bring our egg mix back over and we're gonna go ahead and just add this right in. Just like that. Just use your whisk, push push down a little bit, just get it all incorporated. We're not gonna stir it up per se right here. We want it all to soak up and get nice and wet. Now we're moving on to the spatula. Be sure we get this all nice and incorporated. We wanna soak up all that egg and milk mixture. Those look pretty good. I think it's time to cook. Guys, I'm gonna start by putting some butter down. I got the griddle on low because I don't want this to cook too quick. Now we'll take that whole bowl full of pull-aparts, just dump them out there. Get your spatula, start flattening these out. Don't smash them and don't really break them apart. We want them to stay together, but we kind of want to get one, one layer. So just flatten them out. Those look good. Flip them over when they're kind of brown and crispy. It's okay if a few pieces fall off. Just push them back in when it's ready. Pull that off. And look at that. So I've got some nice soft butter. I'm gonna put it on while they're nice and hot and crispy. Let the butter get all melty. And it's time for the syrup. Today, I'm using huckleberry. I like apricot too. Even a good maple, but today it's huckleberry. After that, we finish with a little sprinkling of powdered sugar. Just dust that on just like that. That's all you need. You're good to go. So guys, they look so good. Let's just go ahead and get right in there and enjoy. And what's cool is they're pull-aparts. So we simply just take them. Mm. Oh, that huckleberry syrup is awesome. Mm. So good. Wow, what a treat. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.